I'm not going to a hospital. Okay. Good luck with that. I understand, man. And look, I'm not I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dude. I'm just a guy here, right? I don't even know you. Right? But you got to understand where I'm put yourself in my shoes for one half second. Do you understand that my only option is to either get you to a, a medical facility voluntarily or involuntarily? It doesn't matter which one has to happen. But it's a lot easier for you to just go over there voluntarily. I and don't want to go to any of the medical facilities. I understand that. And I don't want to take you either. But I don't have a choice. Where you're willing to go? Columbus Springs. <laughs> When a police officer is dispatched to a call about a suicidal person and that person makes some very specific statements, a police officer is within his authority to place that person in handcuffs, put him in a car, and take him to whatever treatment facility the officer believes is necessary to get this person treatment. What you'll see in this video is an officer who is responding to this type of call, hears very specific statements, but instead of using force and putting someone in handcuffs and taking them someplace that they might not want to go, the officer takes his time, comes up with a solution that is a little bit non-conventional, but solves the problem. Stop here talking to me now. Alrighty, bye bye. What's going on, man? Yeah, they thought that someone called in saying that I was gonna hurt them and hurt myself, and I'm like, I never made no threat. No. No, I don't even know where this came from. People call the police all the time, man. No, they didn't call the police. They called the shelter. They called the shelter directly. Oh, they some net care. Net care called them, and I'm like, I never called net care, so I don't okay. even know where this is coming from. Well, what? I'm not gonna hurt myself for no one. I just want to go to bed. Did you tell anyone that? Did you send a text message or something like that? No. Why would they call us and say that? I was frustrated at the hospital because these people wanted me to get a COVID test. When I already had the first vaccine, okay. I already just had a COVID test yesterday. Okay. It was negative yesterday. They said do you the have hospital that? has do to you do have... a new COVID test for me to come in. Do you have that documentation with you? I have this, which is I just got my vaccine today. Yeah, well, we had a, a, an officer that got the vaccine, and the next day he, he had they diagnosed him with COVID. I understand uh, that. Hi. I don't What's have, going on? I don't have COVID at all. And I'm not going to so hurt myself for anyone is, else. So we, uh, we had talked with Mr. Williamson. Okay. We had, I told him I had to run it past my supervisor. This was about 8-something. Okay. Um, Still time to get in at that point. Well, yeah, and that's not really, the, the I guess, the bigger issue. Sure. So I thought we had cleared all that before he left the hospital. He was supposed to be on his way. Which as, was. as we asked everybody else, just bring your hospital paper. Sure. I had already ran it past my supervisor. He said, okay, you know, he just took the test yesterday. But I was saying, yes, you can still possibly, you know, contract it, you know, between vaccines, whatever. So in the midst of that, we got a call from the shelter hotline. The lady said that she had also contacted PD, P, C, uh, Tom, 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 to you guys yeah. for a wellness check, but he hadn't physically gotten here yet. Okay. And the reason why she said that is she said he called, um, and this was at 10.03 when I got the call. So this was about an hour after we had already talked. Sure. He said that he was extremely upset. Um, that he was furious. He was talking about tearing staff into pieces, tearing a building down. Um, and she said um, something about um, he couldn't come back. And I was like, well, that's not true. We've already cleared that. So I didn't understand why. Sure. But she said he was really, uh, really upset, really angry. So she called for, and to see if you guys to do a wellness check. But because he hadn't physically gotten here. We couldn't do it yet. Right. Exactly. And so when he got here, he indicated, well, no, I didn't say that. But then he was like, then he made made a remark of hurting himself. Mr. Williams? Oh, God, sir. man, because someone what got did my he, business. What did that. he say? Okay, see, I didn't know Someone that. came over here, so like, I'll he's, punch he, you he, and he, stuff like that. So I went off saying, come outside the fence. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. But we had it on speaker saying, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. Mr. Williams. And How do you know it. which person said it? We have, we, he was right here. He was the only one out here screaming it. Well, I, I'm gonna let you say it, but he does have a history. It's nothing against you, but he has done it before. I wanted to take the precautions and not send you back up here uh. for something to do happen again. 
Okay, l so, let me ask you this. Um, that right was now, our uh, we're not saying he hasn't lost his bed. Okay. We just wanted to make sure, you know, we I wanted to say for our supervisor that we did do a wellness check because, okay. like I said, the situation did happen in the past. He got upset. I'm going to kill him. Did myself. you say that, or did somebody over. else yell that, or I what? I got frustrated at that guy because he kept getting in my business. And what so I got in an argument with him. Okay, but he's asking. So what let me did ask. You let me ask you something. If yeah. if he doesn't have any weapons on him, could he come into your facility tonight? I don't have no weapons. But he's over. Never... He's overdosed on prescription medication. So before it's not. I'm not, not saying, tonight. Well, yeah, not not so, tonight. I'm not saying that. Do you have medications on you? I do upstairs, but I'm not going to take them. Other than what I'm supposed to take. Well, he he stays here other times, correct? He has, but he has had an incident here where he in the has past. over. It has been in the past. Again, I'm just taking precautions on my end, Mr. Williams. I'm not going to do personal. that. I told you I wouldn't do that okay. again. Okay. I told you I won't take a bunch of medicine like that again. If I really felt that I was going to hurt myself again, I'm going to go to. But you made the statement, so I have to. If of... I was going to hurt myself, okay. I would just go to the hospital and just go ahead and sign myself in. I okay. wouldn't okay. be sitting out here. Going do you off. do you want to go to the hospital? I do not. No, I just don't. Came from do you the think hospital. it could help you to talk to a? Well, they weren't addressing like a mental health thing. They won't help me there, Grant or OSU. They won't help me at either one of them. What help do you need? None right now. I just want to go to bed. That's why I'm at. I just got out of the hospital. I, well, here's the thing. I don't have enough to take him against his okay, will. Okay. So long, long it, as long as I can document that we we. Yeah, absolutely. And it's on camera. And I talk to him. Yes. Um, yes. And I don't play with it. Uh, I'm 100%. You know, I do it by the book when it comes to mental health. Okay. Um, that, but that if, with him saying that, you you hearing someone over the the, the speaker, we're not really able well, to verify. Well, we're right here watching him, but he well, yeah. he did make a comment, and again, I was just taking my I, I don't take it lightly neither. You know, yeah. I've had somebody who has hurt themselves in the past, so I just want to make sure you're okay. One time. You know, you did know you say you were going to kill yourself? Yeah. yeah, I did because I was frustrated. Did you get more? What exactly did you say? The only thing is going to hurt myself. That's it. What What did you say? I need verbatim. I, all I said is I was going to kill myself. That's it. That's, that's the only that, statement I made. That's exactly what he said. Well, that's well, it. You, you're going to have to go talk to someone. I'm not going to Grant. I'm not going to OSU. I can take you to OSU East. No, nope, they won't help me there either. All right. What's your name, man? Matthew. Matthew. Going to the hospital. Uh, anyway, you, got, you got to understand where I'm coming from, man. I'm going to the hospital. No. Okay. So, you, you want to go to net care? No, I don't. And I don't either go way, to either one of them. But either way, you know you won't lose your bed. We keep your bed. I do. I do want to remind you of that. So. I don't want to go to the hospital. I want to go to bed. Matthew, listen to me. So this is the position I'm in. I'm just going to explain it to you, and you tell me what I should do. Okay. You did say you were going to kill yourself. That was tonight. That was just a few minutes ago. Right? Yeah. So the position that I'm in is that I cannot let you leave my site until I hand you off to a medical professional. I'm not going to a hospital. Okay. Good luck with that one. I understand, man. And look, I'm not, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dude. I'm just a guy here, right? I don't even know you, right? But you got to understand where I'm coming. Put yourself in my shoes for one half second. Do you understand that my only option is to either get you to a, a medical facility voluntarily or involuntarily? It doesn't matter which one has to happen. But it's a lot easier for you to just go over there voluntarily. I and don't want to go to any of the medical facilities. I understand that. And I don't want to take you either. But I don't have a choice. where you're willing to go? Columbus Springs East. That's the only place I'm willing to go. I think they have to have a problem. No, they don't. I can walk in to Columbus Springs. I've done it a thousand times. Okay. I don't want to tell I'm you. I'm not familiar with Columbus Springs East. I've never taken anybody there. It's up there by the airport. I understand. I mean, I know where it's at, but I just, I don't, I, as far as I know, we, we can only go to NetCare or the hospital. I'm not going to either one of those two. Well, uh, that's to the contrary, actually. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> Matthew, I'm, I'm being one. serious too, man. I don't have a choice here. I'm not going, no. I, I care about you, you know. I'm so not going to do anything. Water. I just want to go to bed. I understand that, and I want to let you go to bed. And if you go over go to ahead, OSU sir. East, you could probably talk to somebody in the next hour or so. If no, you go voluntarily, listen to me. That. If you go voluntarily, uh, I won't pink slip you. One and three. I'm right? One if, they, if you go voluntarily and you talk to them, then they'll let you out of there a couple hours probably. 
and you can be back over here. She just said she's not going to give up your bed, and she's willing to let you in after hours. It's already after hours. I don't want to go to OSU East. I don't want to go to OSU. I don't want to go to Grant. I understand, but you have to understand where I'm coming from, man. I cannot let you go upstairs with your with your with your medication, where you just said that you want to kill yourself. So what do you want to do? I if, don't know. I, I, I don't. If I don't you go involuntarily, if I have to put hands on you, I don't want to do that, man. Then I have to pink slip you. If you go voluntarily, you could be in and out of there in the next hour. I don't want to. I don't want to go to OSU. I don't want to go to Grant. I, don't I want understand to go to that. OSU, I don't want to go to either one. I, I get what you're saying, 100, percent and I hear you. But you got to understand where I'm at. I don't have a choice at this point. The only place I'm willing to go is probably net care. That's probably the only place. Can you see if Netcare is taking people, please? Because sure. I'm not going to Grant. I just came from Grant. Sure. I OSU East. I don't like. Is, uh, have, didn't help are you familiar? Are, are they familiar with you at Netcare? What's your name? Man, I've been to Netcare. Been yeah. To Springs East before. Well, that's that. You got to understand, man. I can't take you to Columbus Springs East. I've seen cops take many people there. I, I, as far as I'm, as far as I know, that's not an option for me. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, and I'm not I've, saying it's never happened. I've done it before. I, but I've walked into that place before. I believe you, but when once once I I have you, I've never taken somebody to Columbus Springs East. I've never known that to be an option. It now is an option. there are listen. People will say there's no exceptions. There's always exceptions. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I could call Columbus Springs East, and they sure. can tell you to bring me. Okay, there. if you want to call them and they'll let you in, I'll give you a ride out there. What you got? Yeah. yeah. They are? They're accepted people. Okay. So he should be good if you want to go there. Or we'll... If he gets a hold of Columbus Springs East and they'll take him, we'll just give him a ride there. If not, we'll take him out to Netcare. Hey, ma'am, this is off with the Columbus Division of Police. I have a math here who's uh, going through it a little bit tonight. He told um, a, uh, a worker here at the homeless shelter that he wanted to kill himself. And the only place that he's saying he's willing to go is to Columbus Springs East. He says he has a history with you guys. And I'm wondering if there's any way that if I get him out there, would you be able to take him? Um, yeah. Oh, do you guys copy the uh, vaccine card? Yeah, because there's not a cop. We don't have a cop, but I documented that you had if it. If you want to make that real quick. and Okay. We'll... Yeah, because I tried to hand it to them earlier, and they didn't She said it. she's going to keep your bed. I know. Huh? Yeah. I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't catch that. I'm sorry about the, the weight. Oh, no problem. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Then, yeah, that's okay. If you uh, bring him here, are you guys going to be pink slipping him? I'm sorry. No, we're not pink slipping him. He's he said he's willing to come voluntarily to your facility. 110, 113. All right. We'll see you in probably the next 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. All right. Um, you want to take him over? Hey, listen, he's going to take your bag. He's going to wait until they come. She gets your card. Well, in the meantime, he'll take your bag, do a quick pat down. We're not going to force you to do anything. And then we'll wait for your card and he'll give you a ride over. You good, Dunbottom? Yeah. All right. Yep.